Hey dads, hey coaches, hey grandpas. My name is Dr. Josh McClain. Today we're gonna to talk through three bench variations that overall help you fire up that rotator cuff, fire up your core, and yet get those pec gains that you're looking for as we go through the aging process. It's not your traditional heavy bench, but it's gonna give you a lot more benefit, a lot more shoulder health, and overall enhance everything moving forward. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button down below. Stay involved with us. We're going to keep things coming your way to not only enhance your health, but your happiness along the way. All right, here we go. So number one, everyone knows about the rotator cuff, all the stabilizing muscles around the shoulder. A lot of times when we bench, we're just kind of isolating the pecs and we get this forward translation, right? We don't want to be that old guy walking around in that hunched over position. So we're going to learn how to not only fire up our pecs, but also stabilize our rotator cuff to minimize injuries and give us that little bit more open shoulder position. So we're going to need a little loop band. I'm going to put it around both wrists. I'm going to grab two dumbbells here going down into my bench variation. So I'm gonna make my way down here, keeping them at 45 degrees. Don't keep them like it'd be a traditional bench here with your arms straight at each other. Keep them 45 degrees with your elbows, rip that band apart. Now I'm automatically engaging my uh, rotator cuff as I'm working my way through, keeping them ripped apart, going down all the way to my chest, getting that nice good depth coming back up, keeping them ripped apart the whole time. Try not to let them come back together or go variating directions all the way through. Rep it out, I would hit eight to 10 reps of it. A little bit of weight goes a long ways with these. Definitely if you got a pretty heavy band on for some of the resisted uh, pulling apart. So then we're gonna go into another one, working on shoulder mobility. So obviously, the more I start to age and then the tighter my shoulders get, I start having limited overhead mobility and limited behind the back mobility. So this one is great for loosening up the shoulder in all different directions as you're working your way through. So you're gonna have one heavy dumbbell. I got a 20 pounder here, one lighter dumbbell. I'll switch it around so you can see it. We're going down in that bench position. Now, as I go to bench, the first one, I'm just gonna do a nice big fly out to the side, getting that nice big pec stretch. Boom, hitting my rep, coming my way down. I can do a full set here, or I can do two to three reps here, and then bring it back up. Next one, I'm then gonna go overhead, get that shoulder flexion position, working my way through, hit my two or three reps here, and then bring it back up. And then the last one, I can start to get that shoulder extension, really get that big shoulder stretch. You might be all the way down to the ground, that's fine. And then finish up your last couple of reps, working your way through, and then pulling it back up. I'm then gonna switch arms, making my way. So eight, 10 reps of it, working your way through one side, switch hands so you get the same burn on the other side while overall increasing that mobility of those shoulders. Last one we're gonna do, this one is awesome because it fires up our core and makes us stabilize not only our shoulders, but our core as well. So now instead of just getting the pecs, we got those abs working, working on that tone and definition. So I'm um, here, bench is gonna be out far enough so that I got a, a longer loop band, I got a handle on it. You don't need the handle, but if you have it, it's nice. And then you're gonna be pulling it into that fly position. It's gonna fire up your core as you're hitting that bench. So I'm going down. Here, start with my dumbbell up, arm is straight, pulling across my body, trying to stabilize this arm the whole time. I'm gonna rep out for eight to 10 of them over on my right arm, and then I'm gonna end up switching directions. Boom, if you don't feel like you're getting much core, scoot out a little bit, or tighten your band up so that it requires you to pull more. It's gonna feel like it's pulling you off the bench, which is gonna require you to fire up that opposite side. All right, have fun, try those bench variations out. If you guys need anything as far as shoulder health or altered programs for the aging male, let us know. Have fun.